a new Russian sports team is starting to grab some major championship medals. The team Megapolis is made up of four young women, and they are doing battle, virtual battle, that is, in the world of computer gaming. And as our correspondent Alexey Rashevsky found out, they are just a click away from winning a world title. Meet the female face of Russian cyber sport. They call themselves the Megapolis team. Expensive makeup combined with 10 mouse clicks per second. Three years ago, their captain Olga, or Pachella, moved to Moscow from the Siberian city of Novosibirsk with one thing on her mind. I felt insulted by the fact that there was only one female team in Russia and wanted to develop female cyber sport in the country. Now, after three years of hard work, we are a strong team on the virtual battlefield and almost like a family of it. The girls have tried many games, but it's the Counter-Strike which has won their hearts. It is a worldwide hit which involves a team fight, police against terrorists. In the game of Counter-Strike, having one score player is just not enough. Players engage in a rampage of team play battles, so you always have to make sure someone has got your back. Cover me, I'm reloading. And they seem to have developed a successful shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder strategy. For the past three years, Megapolis has been the strongest female team in Russia and is now ranked eighth in the world. They say playing against girls is fun, but when it comes to getting more skilled, it's the opposite sex where they seek their new moves. For now, unfortunately, the competition among female teams in Russia isn't really strong, and it's often too easy to fight against ones of our kind. Playing against the boys is always hard, and hard, of course, means interesting. Victories against the boys bring us more delight. Alexei is one of Russia's top players. Battling girls for now is an easy ride for him, but not for much longer, he says. Matches against girls are pretty much one-sided. That's because a boy psychologically cannot lose to a girl, so he gives his maximum. But now we feel that the quality of their game is getting better, and they are in fact are starting to win. Players and experts agree. Female cybersport is only just starting its growth, both in Russia and worldwide. But it could grow into a rather promising industry. Girls attract the attention of men, and some male players come to our computer club to play with female players. Female cyber sport is developing into a profitable industry worldwide. Some tournaments in the United States have prize money of up to 5 million US dollars. Sometimes emotions are too hard to control. That frustration was caused by a painful loss at this year's world championship in France. They were yet again a click away from grabbing the title. But the Megapolis captain says when there is a will, there is a way. They continue spending hours training, devoting less time to their loved ones. But Olga's boyfriend, also a renowned gamer, understands and hopes to see his Pachella become the world champion. Alexey Roshevsky, Russia Today.